Hello everyone, this is Dr. Weird28, and I'm gonna be showing you a, a walkthrough of the customs map with commonly referred to uh, landmarks in addition to extracts as well. Now I'm going to have a map up on the bottom right of the screen here as we're walking through for reference so you can kind of see where we're walking through. Um, it, it may be beneficial to have a map up yourself on the side or to have this walkthrough up simultaneously on one screen while you're trying to walk through yourself. And you may find it's better to do it several times just to get used to uh, trying to figure out the map. And once you're good with that, uh, whether you're doing offline or, or not, um, then you could potentially progress to scav runs to start finding stuff and uh, progressing your, your game. But without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so this is the map we'll be using. This in includes the expansion of the ZV-13 old gas area. Um, while it faces this way, looking north and south, I believe actually this is the south and this is the north, therefore east, west. Okay. Either way, as long as you know your your comms with your teammate, that's what's most important. And landmarks make the biggest difference too. Like people will say, oh, they're over by ice cream or whatever. And we'll try and go through some of those as we're moving through. But I'm gonna be kind of pointing with my cursor where we're looking and where we're pointing, as well as uh, trying to discuss moving through here. All right, so we spawned right over here at Trailer Park, okay? So that is an extract for PMCs, but it also is a spawn. Now over to the right here, we're seeing some more of those trailer parks. And then here we move into storage, okay? There are three aisles moving right here. Kind of looking down. And then we're moving this way. And looking down. Now throughout this storage, there are various places to loot. And several different ins and out of storage. You can even get on top of some of these sheds. All right. So that's a little walk through the trailer. Watch this, a little prone move. Totally on purpose. Now moving through, you get a little peek here at crossroads. So down, looking down to the left there was uh, towards trailer park, but we were at crossroads. Now moving back into the trailer. We're moving up along this way. You can see again, those three aisles, which you can run through in between as well. Right here, this blue car is known as giving car. Because if you open it, you can see things spawn inside there. All right, we're coming through towards the hole in the wall here. Okay, to the right is big red. We'll point that out again as we move forward. So we have a blue shack here. Okay, and there's another little doorway through the wall. We're moving back up. Get some more little connexes you can go into. And you'll see right up here, there's a hole right in the wall there that you can go through. Otherwise, you can run along the tracks. We're going to dip underneath that cement bridge there. So moving forward. Again, this big building right here is called Big Red. Again, various loot inside here. We're not gonna be going over too much loot. Up there is the director's office. You need the Tarkon director's key to get in there for a task, a couple tasks actually, as well as some loot. All right, so coming over here, we have another blue shack. We're gonna go right through the wall. So moving forward this way. Those blue shacks do have loot in them. All right, so train tracks here. 
right here is the railroad to Tarkov. That is an extract. All right. And we're moving along. Okay. You can see, as we're looking down low, there's the first of three land bridges. Down there, it goes all the way across the river. So we refer to that as river, canal, whatever your group prefers. That's the first of three land bridges. And as we move along, there is another land bridge. We're going through this little hole in the wall here with this excellent jumping. It's right there. Land bridge number two. Although people say middle land bridge. And then coming over here. We have an actual bridge. You can see that goes all the way across. That's going high. And over here to the left, we see railroad to port extract. Now, I didn't cover it when we were running by that second blue shack by Trailer Park. Trailer Park Worker Shack is around there. On the map, I'm just kind of circling it down here. All right, but we're running here across the lower left bridge. All right. People have different names for this specific bridge just because it's made out of man-made materials. All right, so we're moving up the hill. Over to the side here. Now, down here, where we're going to be looking in a second, right by this rock to the left, Smuggler's Boat would be located here. If there's a fire lit right here, that means, and it is your extract, you can go there. If not, you got to move somewhere else. We're moving up the wall here. This is Sniper's Roadblock. This is a scav extract. All right, we're moving up this way. See this little shack behind the blue car? We call that ice cream. All right, and moving on. All right, coming right through this wall. Okay, over, looking over that way was construction, but we're going to keep moving forward here along the road. We'll come back to construction. Going through the second wall. All right, straight ahead, that is RUAF block, another sometimes PMC extract. If that light is on and you have the extract selected, you can get out there. Now behind us would have been that land bridge there, but we're moving forward here to the little storage containers right here. And then behind here, we have hole in the wall, but first there is a hidden body right here. People refer to that as hidden body. So we're moving through hole in the wall. Looking over to the left here is the Warehouse 17 Extract for Scabs. Okay. And moving back this way. This is what is commonly referred to as either Med Building or Crack or Crack House. Inside Crack House, a couple of commonly referred to names. This is Dead Body Room. Another hidden body. And then coming up stairs, we have the office, or maybe some people will call the library. Intel can spawn on these shelves, so always check them. And then inside over here, another little medical room. And over here is another room with some more medical supplies. Good places to look for Salewas for that early tasks. 
All right, we're coming forward now. Okay, we're going to head over to the left. So this building right here is referred to as garage. You can go through garage to get over across if you like. A little more cover. Now we're moving straight over towards that big building right there. It's called Stronghold. This one on the map. Or ZB-13. Now ZB-13 has an extract for PM all PMCs. However, the power must be turned on. And we'll show you that later. And you have to have a factory exit key. All right. So in here we have what we call drink room. And over here we have bedroom. There are some good medical supplies in there too. There is a second floor to this building. We're not going to go up there. We're going to go down, point out ZB-13. There's two ways in, right? The way we just did, right here. ZB-13, you need factory key, as I'm going to bring up here, in order to unlock. So you just open that and go in. If I can find factory key right in front of me. There you go. It has 50 uses on the key. All right. This is the other entrance or exit of there. So we're moving forward. As you can see, looking back this way, crack house. There's ZB. There's train. One of the trains. All right. So we're going to come down here, this side of it. Now, notice this sign here. Do not go past those signs. If you do, an invisible sniper scav will kill you. We're going to run back along these tracks. All right, this is how you get through here, one of the ways. So we're going to come back around. See that big red door? That is known as old gas station. It's the exit for uh, um, scavs. Back behind, I'm gonna back up a little bit in this video. All right, so this tree right here is known as giving tree. At the base of it is a spot where th various things can spawn, okay? Um, but this, this wall here is the extract for scavs, if they have that one. All right, we're gonna jump over. All right, so this is old gas station extract for PMCs if they have it. However, there has to be green smoke visible there for it to actually work. You come down, open the gate, and boom, you'd extract there. We're going to come back up. We're running along here. All right, that's cement bridge. We're leaving old gas station. All right, this building straight ahead to our left. So you can see, there you go. We have warehouse. We're in warehouse four here. And you can see underground, there's some loot spawns down here. You can also just say you're underground. Moving forward here. Right through here. All right, so we're upstairs or on the main level. And right here, that's how you turn power on. So now ZB13 would be active for people. We're going to come out to this front here, though. So right there, we have another a warehouse some people call water. And we have another warehouse over here. People have different names for those, so I would just ask what they choose to use when you're playing with them. All right, so you can get through here, through this wall, using the factory key. And it is right here. 
You can do the same thing here. And as you get through, we'll, we'll take a look what it looks like. Instead, you can just come around and jump over there and jump over the fence. All right, so we, we're over, we're coming back around, and you can see that's where we would have came through, but you can jump over and said, that is new gas right here, new gas station. Instead, we're going to run down this way, again, under another cement bridge. Some people refer to it. Coming across. All right, bus depot right there. Okay, there's some spots in there scabs can spawn. We're going to come through this blue conix. And right in front of us here is Skeleton, or some people call Skeletor. This is another spot people will like to be in order to snipe. So you always want to watch it right here. You can see the Crack House. Over, that is Garage, and right there, ZB13. Crack House, there we go. And that was the train back here. All right, so we're going to move back down. Okay. So we're moving through. You can see there's factory shacks. Okay, that's a scav extract sometimes. Down the road there, we, to the left a little bit. Those are dorms. We'll get there from the other side. We're going to instead move into construction. You can see there's various holes in the wall. Some people might call these like gas tanks. And then right back over here, there is a hidden stash some people will talk about or duffel bag. But you want to stay, hug the wall because right there, barbed wire. If you get too close to the tank. Now moving into construction here. You can see what it looks like. That orange tanker there. That is where you have bronze pocket watch. People might refer to that. Here's cement stairs or staircase. We'll get up there and look down there. That is a uh, crack house. On the left would be garage. Right over there. Okay, we're going to go up the cement stairs. and You'll be able to see things from another perspective. So right around here. All right, there's skeleton. Over this way, you can see Crack House. There's that br overhead bridge coming down. There's ice cream down there, sniper roadblock. Or go back down cement stairs. And pause this as you need to, to try and locate again on the map where these things are. So we're gonna be coming through hole in the wall and again you can see there are various ways to get through so always got to know what that could be all right so we're going to take a peek down this way and you can see way down that way would be towards ruaf or instead we're going to come back down through this ditch So this hill that we're running up towards, you can see ahead on the left, so people will just call hill. All right, we got two buildings here, dorms. On the left, three-story. On the right, two-story. People might refer to that as a little shack there on the right. Yeah, there are three... Uh, levels to three story obviously and two for two story if there's ever metal stairs they'll say on metal that's a jump in for three story in the back coming over here that is dorms vx extract next to it i believe we'll look yeah right there is old road gate that is a scav extract. The dorms VX extract is a 
sometimes extract for PMCs and you have to have money for it. Right here is the jump in to the first floor of three story. We're gonna move through a bit and we're gonna come into the courtyard. You can see there's a way in the middle here and a way in the middle here. Now on three story, if we were on the initial side, so I'll go back a little bit so you can see. Let's see, All right, too far. We'll go back from here. So coming up here, these metal stairs that are gonna be on this side, you can go inside on floors one, two, and three right here, okay? All three of those doors will open. You can also get on the first floor, this jump in right over here into the bathroom. You can get in on this side, when we look at the metal stairs, there you go. The second floor only on those metal stairs. There you go, old road gate again. You can also get in first floor through this jump in again at three story or run in through the front door. Now you can shoot out a window in a couple places and get in as well, but um, those are the, the typical entrances. Now we're moving back here. There you can see the entrance, entrance, so two story. All right. Now two story has two sides as well. So this one, you can only get in on those metal stairs on the second level. On the opposite side, you can only get in on the bottom level. And then there is a jump in in the back bathroom over here as well. Now moving backwards through this part of the map, we have campsite. There was a campsite on the back of uh, three story as well. We're moving up. We're gonna jump through this wall. And as we move through there, Kind of moving along. Now up here to the left where we're gonna look in a second, or to the left right now, we might not look there, um, was power, or not power, um, some power lines. There's a stash back there, but then looking down this way, railroad to military base, okay? That is one of the extracts. If you're unfamiliar, double tap O when you're in raid to find out what your extracts are. Now we're moving across the tracks. Looking down there, that would be towards Cement Bridge, okay? If you follow the tracks all the way down. But we're going to move up here to the camp. So that's this point here. Another good spot to get some loot. You can always find it by that tall power line. Now, if we look down, we're going to get on some of these rocks. That's new gas we're looking down at. So we're right here on the rocks, and we're looking down at new gas. Okay, that's over there, power warehouse, where, water warehouse, and the other warehouse. All right, we're going to run back kind of across through here. Now this can be a little tricky. We're looking at passage between rocks right there. It looks confusing compared to some of these other places, but if you have that extract, just move along the fence there and you will eventually hit it. You would think going through this little passage between rocks that that's it, but no, you got to move a little further. So we're moving along this fence now. Moving right along. 
volume here. Military base CP. Another extract. All right. Just gonna move this way, just along the road. Some people will call this checkpoint. We're gonna go up where the sniper scav typically spawns. This building right here. So if you were to look directly that way, it would be new gas, okay? Up that way is that camp, but there's a hole in the wall, a couple holes in the wall. All right. All right, so we're gonna move along this way. You can get through around there through some barbed wire. Instead, we're gonna fall down this road. And right here, we have scav checkpoint. We can make an immediate left. There's some, we can say some like oil rigs or some people refer to as titties, believe it or not. And then right back here, that is admin gate. And we run down this way. Again, you can see another angle of those silos. You can get through in between, by the way. Straight ahead here, factory far corner. Back in there. And then this building right here is ZB11. Right down there. So you would just open, come on down and go to the back there. Okay. All right. This building to our right, some people call tech building or uh, building by ZB11. There's some computer room up top. There's another little crate in the back there for looting. We're going to move through. Some people call this, uh, there's those, another view of the silos. We're going to this next building. That's green screen over here. But we're going to instead go into this building with the hidden body that we just passed. Some various places to loot. Coming out the front there. Okay, look at that building. If we were to look down that way, it would be towards Factory Far Corner, ZB11. Instead, we're going to come out towards the train. All right. A couple task items in that train. Coming up here, we call this the jump or jump over. All right. Looking down there to the right, that building, there's a little another, another little cement building. We'll go back again. I want to pause that. All right. Right. Oop. All right, so right here on the other side, you got to do the jump to get there, is another cement building called ZB12. Go back to this. It is right here. That is another maybe extract for PMCs. If the light is on and you have the extract, you can extract there, okay? You could have come from, this is that water warehouse, old gas. We'll probably look back that way. There's the other warehouse. Old gas is down here with the cement bridge. That's power over there. All right. But we're going to come oop, back down right. this way. So ahead here, they have train tracks. And then we have the gas tanks in this little area here. No, oh, not there. To behind us. This building again is green screen. That side right there, some called blue or cement stair side. That is green screen side. Right here we call cement stairs. Goes all the way up to blue or cement side. And if you were to come through here, you can see again, we have our silos. There is the hole in the wall that we came through by scap checkpoint and admin gate. All right, we're going to come out this way along the road that we can see our checkpoint, which is right here. All right. And then we're going to move down this 
road right here. Come through the gate. Oh, there you see another little hole in the wall. To the left, if you look, new gas that way. But instead, we're gonna, there's that checkpoint again. You can see how they're connected. Call that metal pipe that you're by. It's on both sides of the wall. Right here, we came through the gate. We have first warehouse. Again, some task items or tasks are done in here. And off to the left right there that we just glanced at was ZB12 again. All right. In this open area down here, we call that pit. There is a stash right there, you can see. We're gonna move to the back of the warehouse we call water. Let's run along this back wall, up on the tracks. All right, back on cement bridge. You can see where we were. Boom, old gas. Power's on our left over here. But instead, we're going to go down here into Water Warehouse. We call it that if you look at all the water tanks. All right, we're going to come back forward here. This shack here you need the unknown key for a certain task but right here we have another warehouse extract right there all right and then this is showing the compass you can see we're looking that would be up in this direction which is actually south and then we're moving around and north is down here well i hope that helps you guys with trying to understand the map and the extracts uh, be sure to reach out with any questions, any comments. We will definitely be doing more guides like this try, try, to try and help new players figure out the map since it can be a little bit difficult. Uh, always feel free to join the Discord if you would like to have a little help learning the game and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Keep it weird.